It's good to be with you here on this Friday, the final day of the week. And I trust this has been a good week and that you're ready to see God use you in the days ahead. Well, as we have seen all that's been going on, of course, the pandemic, the political situation, then uh, some very serious conflicts going on around the country and around the world, uh, safety and security seem to come to mind. But for us as believers, we have a safety and security that is in our spirit and in our heart. In Proverbs chapter 1, in this introductory proverb that deals with the importance of wisdom and of knowledge, we read, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. This is really a personification of wisdom and knowledge. Those that listen to the counsel of God, that will hearken and obey God's ways, shall dwell safely. Now you say, well, how can that be? Because Christians do suffer, and there is persecution, and there are problems. Well, when we are walking with God and truly living with wisdom being the uppermost part of our uh, thought process, we are allowing the Spirit of God to lead us. There is safety in our hearts and our lives because we know nothing will happen unless God allows it, and if God allows it, it's good. We don't need to live in fear. We're not dealing with happenstance. We are not dealing with a uh, a situation that's going to be outside of the control of God or something that's going to be bad. We are safe. And as we saw yesterday in Hebrews, you find that great truth that the, the uh, Lord Jesus sends his ministering angels to work on our behalf. And it's just amazing how God protects his people. And so when we're thinking spiritually wisely, uh, and following the Lord will dwell safely, and we shall be quiet from the fear of evil. We don't have to live in fear. The thing that really concerns me is how many believers have lived in fear, dominated by that, when they could have had the peace of God and known that God was in charge and God would work and to allow the wisdom of God to control their whole perspective on life. So let's let God give us the mind of Christ. Let's think right so that we can know that we dwell safely within the will and protection of Almighty God.